All right, all right, all right, all right. I think, I think we're about ready to jump into it. I don't know how well this is gonna work, but I'll try my best to, to narrate my story of life on YouTube. Where it all starts is actually 2012, when I was still a little 12 year old kid trying to start up a, a YouTube career doing Minecraft videos. It's a squeaky voice, number one. Number two, it's, it's in Ukrainian. <laughs> man i i don't know if i wanted to sh oh, this is gonna be this is th no 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 <laughs> i can't show this to you uh, it's unlisted as I, actually no it's private because i i don't want anyone to ever see it i'll i'll play this for a couple of seconds so you can hear my voice in 2012. this is my first ever video on youtube june 18th 2012. Bodia. <laughs> This is, this is, um, wow. I can't believe I've just shared this with you guys. This is what you get by showing up to stream, by the way. It was not that cringe? Okay. Let me convince you. It's, it's also a super laggy and slow laptop that I was playing on, which just added to the whole experience. Oh, oh. this is a part of my life, which I thought I would never, ever show anyone. Ever. Not many of you know, in 2017, I made videos about, well, music, and I was kind of just shitposting. And this is one of the first shitposts I've made. <laughs> this is Infinite Annihilator, but in reverse. And all I did is I took uh, the song and I just flipped it backwards because I thought it was funny. Because, you know, 2017. Like, what was I thinking? What was going through my head? Yeah, people are gonna fucking love this. <laughs> no. And after that, shit hit the fan. I had an idea, because this was a time where Suicide Silence dropped a song called Doris. This one was big for me. This one was the first video that made like 100,000 views on my channel. Th this went viral for no fucking reason. But this was kind of genius, and I, I take credit for this, because what happened here is the Tihi, yes, the infamous Tihi meme, I decided to edit it out. And I just used the bridge part of the song instead of the Tihis. <laughs> People went crazy about this. Yeah, but this is basically it. It's just, I re-uploaded the song with just the bridge vocals on the choruses. So there's no teehee. And like with all amazing things, I just milked it. Because from that, I got even more shit posts. This was the other song they dropped. And they were just kind of meme deaths. Oh my god. Oh. The Comic Sans, the Pepe's, the Harambe. Oh my god, this is a fucking time capsule. This is the content that I thought people are gonna wanna... Uh, watch in their free time. What we did with this one, we just replaced all vocals with teehees. We had a version without teehees, this is version with only teehees. <laughs> but then, ladies and gentlemen, then, after all those semi-popular, um, well, semi-successful shit posts, milking suicide silence's failure and what i'm about to show you is the video that i'm still yet to beat in terms of activity in terms of stats in terms of analytics this is a video that has 1.2 million views because this is the original never done before try not to headbang challenge that i somehow came up with oh yeah this one <laughs> <laughs> I milked the shit out of this challenge. I've made so many try not to headbang challenges. I think it was like try not to headbang challenge volume two, volume three, death metal edition, deathcore edition. Try not to air drums. Try not to air guitar. Try not to blech. It was so wild in 2017. But at the same time, because because I milked it, it gave me a lot more subs as well. And I think in that first year, I gained like 18,000 subscribers. Something else happened in 2017, which is pretty cringe as well, but also kind of monumental because this, this was also the year where I posted my first ever 
original content, which was a cover of A Place For My Head. I watch how the moon sets in the sky in the dark. Sick raps from Dan. This is not me, this is Dan rapping. Mm. Better than the browning mix. <laughs> True. Not bad, right? <laughs> We're moving into 2018 area, and this is where the shit posting didn't stop, but it definitely slowed down. So I got a lot of these subs and views from uh, Milking trying to headbang challenge, but I want more. I want something more out of YouTube. I want people to see my face. I want people to hear my opinions. I want people to know me, not the shitty challenges that I make. So technically, this is my first like original content, my face on camera uh, type of video. So get ready. This is the plot and you dispose um, album review. It's pretty terrible. Look at those edits though. Oh my god. What? Okay, what is that head shape? What? Is my side profile that bad? Holy shit, look at that fucking ramp. What is that? What the fuck is that? God damn, look at that fucking, look at that square. Look at that square. 2018, so far, Talk to me. a pretty boring year in terms oh. of music. But something got released a week ago that I was kind of interested in. Spoiler alert. I really liked what I heard when it came out. Like you can see, you can see like my unmade bed in there. Really also, 16 minutes. Who would ever watch this? For that, right? I got interested. Um, is a success, definitely. For I was so time. boring then. But then I found something. I found something, you guys. Something that shaped my channel forever. I made a reaction video. Sounds cool. His voice. Great yeah, insights. Definitely sounds great. That this so is a reaction. Ooh. Yeah, something's coming. I can feel it. <laughs> can you? Oh, the, Oof. The fact that the voice is so loud and the music is so quiet just makes it so awkward. Cause you just hear all the background noises. <laughs> uh. It's okay. Uh. It's okay. No, it's not. It's one of the worst songs they've ever made. Bullet For My Valentine was always the kind of the band that had their special sound thanks to either vocal That had their special sound thanks to what? Vocals or somewhat original and technical music. Vocals and somewhat original technical music. Okay. Pretty good insight. Pretty good insight. Good job. Ooh, hardcore words. Hardcore words. Which is, by the way, the poll is live. If you haven't checked it out yet, uh, please vote. Pretty cool, pretty cool setup. Got a little Christmas tree. Year review. Today we will be handing out awards right and left to the best and the worst of- I feel like my voice has gotten a lot more uh, interesting. A lot more enthused. Because this Bogdan was super monotone. Like, listen to this shit. 2018, according to my personal opinion, as well as a couple of your opinions, According to my personal opinion and a couple of your opinions, Hardcore 2021. Are you excited, guys? I'm very excited. 18 is gone. This is how will Metalcore sound in 2019, which was basically a video in the beginning of 2019 where I anticipated a bunch of, like, trends. And I'm actually pretty excited to see this. What did I think? What did I think was going to happen? Ooh, the edits. You may have noticed that majority of this channel is oh themed around- god. Oh, this is where I bought the camera. This is where I finally bought a camera. And this was a decent-ish quality. Look at that baby face though. Ooh. Um, to be fair, if I shaved, I would look exactly like this. Cleans. If you haven't noticed- Cleans. 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 You should just say singing. Not cleans. Because cleans- it just sounds weird. Just say singing. This is the video where I decided I want to shit talk Oliver Sykes. Look at look at this fucking ratio. 5.7k likes, 5.3k dislikes. I never been a huge Man, fan. I also had such a punchable face. Don't bring me the horizon. I like a couple of songs, but in general, a like couple of songs. I feel like also the voice added to the the reason people disliked it so much. <laughs> this video is just it didn't age well that's that's why 
Th that's why it's private. I took it down because it doesn't represent my current opinion. And also it didn't represent my opinion back then. I just kind of made a hate video. Toned down from... Even though I said it's not a hate video, it ended up being exactly that. So it blew up though. 200k views. Come on. <laughs> All right. What is this one? I want to delete my channel. Not joking. Huh? Happy April Fool's Day. But as much as I want this to be a joke. God damn. Straight on Bogdan looks so weird is unfortunately not really a joke you may so this video was uh definitely not a joke like i can attest to this it's not a clickbait it was more of a, i was just really tired it was in the last two weeks i have lost 30 videos from my channel yeah this was very fucked up because what happened basically all of those older videos that i showed you today like all those try not to headbang challenges all the shit posts they got taken down they got blocked worldwide and there was nothing I could do about it. Like, look at this shit. This is all, this is my uh, G, like Gmail inbox for my channel. All of these are from YouTube about blocking my videos. Every single one of them. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It was pissing me off so much because that's all that would happen for the duration of like three weeks straight. I would just get a notification on my phone that my video, another video of mine is blocked worldwide so i took a like a month break after this video basically just to like reconcile think about stuff but this was the bloodline cover and a cool thing about this cover is look at this look at this do you see this do you see this right here do you see this can can you read that name right here can you read it that was the shit man i was so so happy to see that in my comments i was like damn what what marcus bridge my favorite vocalist this was the time 20 late 2019 was the time where i kind of just started doing more interesting stuff i started going outside filming videos outside i started making a lot of these reviews where i would just kind of like write them like an essay yeah oh okay okay this is this is fun content bogdan because this is hardcore awards 2019 who was my top i think it was alien yeah it was alien of shit it's incredible how much they were able to put together i i totally agree with you bogdan from 2019 it's a fucking fire album this is song of the year sound planet trilogy and the reason i'm putting this here because first of all look at those views jesus christ this blew up and uh second of all this is where daddy garrett uh watched my video and and recorded like a story to it with his uh girlfriend um just like laughing at me, <laughs> laughing at my reaction to the breakdown. Gotta do this. Hmm. Hell yeah. Good edit. Good meme. Good meme. This is where I collabed with fucking Tobinez, who is an insane drummer. Like, if you haven't checked him out before, ever, he's one of the best drummers I've ever seen on YouTube. He's extremely fucking tight, and he's he's an awesome dude. And then I also, I, I brought Robin again, who's an incredible guitarist as well. We later did an original song with him. And I also brought Dennis, and Dennis kind of helped me put this whole thing together. And, of course, I'm forgetting about the, the, the biggest name here is Nick Nocturnal, the first but not the last um, cover we did together. So sick. I was, I was super proud of this video. This is Architects Animals. This is the cover that currently has the most uh, views, I think. Ah, uh, um, I... I really like this. I really like doing scream singing. <laughs> this is such a last minute decision, but it made it work. It made it work so well. This is coming up to um, the last year's Hardcore Awards 2020. And I'm proud of this video. It's a huge video. 2,000 of you have voted for these winners. Good news, already three and a half thousand voted for this year, so I'm super excited for this year's Hardcore Awards, but this is basically a taste of of what it was and what it's going to be. This nomination is for the best song of the year. 
Now, unlike the singles, horrendous one... hair, and and this is this is me recently, which is very embarrassing, because what what the hell was I thinking? But well, yeah, guys, um, that was the trip. I've learned a lot along the way. I think the biggest thing that I've learned is that numbers isn't always the most important thing, because in the beginning of my career. I was always running after numbers and I was I was like always very anxious when my video didn't do good. One thing I can recommend you if you ever want to make videos is just just do them. Don't look don't focus on analytics too much because they're not going to tell you the full picture. A good way to look at it is that whenever you get 10 viewers, 10 likes, um you know, it's not a big number. 10 likes is pretty pretty small. But um, imagine 10 people in your room saying that they enjoyed uh, what you made. That's, that's, that's a lot of people in the room. For example, for me, the, the definition of underperforming is barely scratching 100 likes on a video. But then I, I think about it. 100 people liked the video. 100 people. Imagine 100 people in this fucking room. We would all die of suffocation. So a good, a good way to look at it is, is just, just make stuff. Just make stuff you enjoy. Uh, and make sure that content you put out is content that you like watching yourself. Because I've made a big mistake of not doing that. Um, and in fact, a lot of these videos you've seen, until the very late 2020, around the time where uh, I did the Constance reaction, around the time where I did Hardcore Awards 2020, that's where I started enjoying stuff that I was making. When it comes to the colors, the sound, the microphone, I started enjoying it and that's where my content kind of went up. And while all my other years I would gain like 6,000 subscribers, 8,000 subscribers per year, this year I've gained 20,000, which a big part of it is just enjoying what you do. Enjoy what you do and making it, making it a consistent thing. Ooh, that was a big trip. <laughs> Well, yeah, that's going to be it for this one. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.